Hey girl, girl, look at this hair, y'all. My hair is growing. Look at that. Yes, my hair is dirty. It always looks best when it's dirty though. I don't want to wash it. I don't even know what the back looks like. Look at that. Look at that. It is definitely growing. And uh yeah, girl, I'm gonna have to do some more hair related videos, but y'all, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything with my hair. This is the first time I've had my hair down in a very long time. You guys, excuse my accent. I feel like my accent is heavier when I'm at home and, of course, when I've been drinking red wine. Um, girl, I need to do my nails over. Let me show y'all. We're gonna, y'all know how we do this. It's a chit chat. I feel disconnected, and I think it's because I'm not vlogging a lot. Y'all don't watch my vlog, so I'm not gonna waste my time posting a 20 30 minute vlog. More of you watch my chit chats and vlogs, which I understand, baby. It is what it is. Hold on, let me adjust this. I should call Angel's crazy ass when I'm back here. Nizzy naps, y'all. I haven't. I want to call Angel or Linda. I want to call Linda real quick, y'all, while I have time. And just to say how she's doing. Hold on, y'all. Let me call Linda real quick. Put on a speaker. Then I'll, I'll y'all can hear her say hi. And then I'll hang up. And I'll cut it out. Yeah. Hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> hey mommy yes ma'am yes, ma I'm like this help a, another quarantine baby child <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to say something like she better say something soon yes I was coming I was definitely coming okay so <laughs> I'm like, she better say, I'm I'm like waiting for her to drop some, look, I'm doing a chit chat. I, I'm, I'm going to cut the rest of it out. I just want you to say hi to everyone. Hey, everybody. Yay, y'all. It's Linda. She announced she pregnant, girl. Stuck up in the house, quarantine, came out pregnant. <laughs> girl, look, what you told me, I'm like, I need to check. What today is? Today, Tuesday. I need to take this whole damn roll of birth control pills. <laughs> All right, y'all. Girl, that was an hour-long conversation with Linda. She's so sweet. Y'all, I love me some Linda. I talk to, I don't talk to a lot of YouTubers. I have my YouTube friends. I don't talk to them because I'm going to let y'all know, I don't trust everybody on this platform. Like, there's a lot of hypocrisy going around, and you just can never, I mean, I, I'm like this in person, too, like my other friends. Like, I don't have a lot of friends, close friends that I call friends, but... I, met, I, I, I mess with Linda. I like Linda. She cool people. She from New Orleans. I like her. I talked to her and like two other YouTubers. Y'all know Antoinette. I talked to BuzzFeed. I need to actually just text BuzzFeed here later on to see how she's doing. Anyway, y'all. Y'all know how we do this chit chat. I talk about what's going on in my personal life. I talk about what I'm watching on YouTube and what I'm watching on TV. So personal life is going great. Um, school is going good. My baby is next door. Um, with another kid who homeschools and JB's doing well. <clears throat> my baby's big y'all. Like I said, he was sleeping in my, now he sleeps in my room. When I say my room, I have my own woman cave. Y'all can see a little, I have a video on it. It's a little dirty right now. So this is what it looks like. My bed is not made, so we ain't gonna do that. So I have my, um, hair products back here, my nail stuff, my makeup stuff. It's just a woman cave, right? So, JV now sleeps in here because I have my queen size bed in here. And so, he sleeps in here at night because, child, he ain't feeling that twin size bed. So, we're going to have to get him a new bedroom set, basically. What time is it, y'all? I'm supposed to be picking up these babies soon. We're going to have to get him a new bedroom set. So, that's what's going on. My husband wants to plan another staycation. I'm like, so we want to go and spend $200 to go 20 miles and, you know... It, it is what it is. Normally, y'all, we travel, but we're not traveling outside of the state. And so, he wants to plan a staycation somewhere here in the valley. I'm like, whatever. It is what it is. Um, My hair is thriving. I haven't been doing anything. However, I have reintroduced coconut oil. Now, y'all, I was jumping on the bandwagon with, oh, I love coconut oil for everything, girl. Then I was like, girl, I hate coconut oil. I I'm never using it again. But what I found out with coconut oil, I cannot leave it in my hair. Oh, I can't. I, I prefer to use it as a treatment to pre-poo. 
um, and a deep conditioner. But I stopped using it in my leave-in um, for my leave-in oil, basically. So what I'm going to be doing soon is a video video where I'm just pre-pooing with coconut oil, and that is it. Um, yeah, pre-pooing with coconut. Okay, girl, I had to smell it again. So yeah, um, I've been eating out a lot lately, and y'all. There is definitely a relationship between food and your behavior. A lot of this genetically modified food, it makes you feel good temporarily. Um, and so I really have, um, sorry y'all, I really had pull back. I'm trying to pull back on junk food and eating out and like, it's literally like multiple times a week when it used to be something like one time a one time a month then it was one time every two weeks now it's like two to three times a week i'm eating out so like today i had whataburger girl i went to whataburger and I <laughs> look baby like i tell how i talk to y'all i talk to everybody so at whataburger i was like who in their right mind will build a um what was it a Popeye's next to a Whataburger and the girl started laughing she's like I know I said well let me tell you something you don't know okay I'm from Texas I automatically love Whataburger now you, which by the way is Whataburger not what other it's Whataburger and then you got a Popeye's next door what do you want me to do and she's like well um you could get your food and then go over next door I said no 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 give me my burger <laughs> you're so crazy I'm like give me my burger hell so y'all i'm just being extra for no reason so yeah that's going on um today i have my mammogram you guys please make sure black women women in general please make sure you go i know we're in the middle of a pandemic but please make sure that you are taking care of yourself holistically medically mentally emotionally okay there's a lot going on um we're not going to get into the losses i'm just praying for everyone and praying that you have peace and peace of mind. Um, I've been saying prayers for people, very specific prayers. God still hears us, y'all. There's a lot going on, and I know it feels like we're not being answered. He will get there in due time. It's his timing. He hears us. He really, I, I, I wholeheartedly, I know that. I believe that, okay? He hears us, so do not stop praying, okay? So... Besides that, we are good. I am blessed to be alive. My husband is good. Girl, he's getting on my nerves. My husband is good. He is well. Um, and yeah, we're just making a Biden is in. Now, I don't care. You, you know, you may have mixed feelings about it. I do too, baby, but he's in. Now, what I'm watching on YouTube, I'm not really watching anything. Excuse me, y'all. Got a little indigestion. I'm not really watching anything, but there was someone. I want to see if I can find her channel she basically talked about oh let me let me back up a little bit remember the woman i told y'all the youtuber who lost her husband and i believe it was due to some heart issues um i don't know how i feel about this actually i do know how i feel about this as a christian but i'm never gonna judge someone she apparently seeked out a medium for you know because of the death of her husband I get it. She feels the need to try to reconnect with that. And so I think that's why she seeked out what well, she sought, girl. She sought out, you know, uh, speaking to a medium or a psychic. And so I was like, hmm. And she got a lot of thumbs down for that video because she has a lot of Christians who who watch her channel and who are subscribed. I would never thumbs down someone's video because of that. You do whatever you want, baby. So y'all, there's somebody I was watching. I'm gonna try to see if I can find her channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, she basically had, she vlogged. She had a couple of videos. I'm trying to go through y'all. Like I can't find her. Oh, hell. Nah, hold on, girl. Um, She basically had a video like titled, I cheated on my husband and God. I'm like, okay, girl, did you cheat on your husband and God? Or oh, what's going on? So, um, yes. The video is titled, I cheated on my husband. Because you don't see a lot of females talking about this, right? It's titled, I cheated on my husband and God. Let's, let's get this out of the way so you can watch us grow. 
then she literally have another video I filed for the divorce it's not funny I filed for the divorce for divorce months later so I think what happened with this woman oh let me give you her channel name just J walk like you jaywalking just J walk just J walk so what I gather what happened with this particular youtuber she's a chocolate beautiful sister what I think what I you know from what I was watching is that they were having issues in the marriage the enemy knows just when to show up he gives you exactly what you think you may need to distract you walk by so anyway this woman youtuber get to the point girl she admitted that her and her husband were were in a dark spot and they were literally like separated in the house they were living together but they were sleeping in separate bedrooms and they were eventually trying to work out work it out in the midst of this separation she had an affair she had an affair and it dragged on for a couple of months now y'all i know there are certain people who feel like if you are separated you're really not cheating i beg to differ i feel like if you are legally married if you are still under the same roof if you are separated and trying to make it work out and you still are talking to someone, in my opinion, that's still cheating. I'm sorry. It, it, it's still cheating. Sorry. Um, now, if you have moved out, you have separated, you said, I'm taking a break, I'm done. Why don't you just wait till you get a divorce? Is getting some niggling that important? And, and, and in her situation, it really wasn't about sex. And I don't, I don't even think she necessarily had sex with this person this other person i think it was an emotional affair which in my opinion sometimes can be worse so anyway y'all get to the point girl i was watching her video um and not really watching any other anybody else so yeah yeah that's what i'm watching on youtube y'all now what i'm watching on tv i watched the movie with jared leto and denzel washington y'all denzel Denzel is one of those type of people to wear in the face. Of course, there are tons of other men that are way better looking than, than Denzel. Um, but it's his overall package. It his it's his charisma. It is his um very confident, and that is attractive in a man to have that confidence and assurance and um that strength so he was in a movie the little things with jared leto y'all jared leto was looking like every damn psychopath and serial killer we've had within the last 20 years jared leto looked at a hot ass mess in this movie the little things premiered on hbo and so i watched the movie i liked the movie i know there were a bunch of mixed reviews and people didn't like the ending i'm not going to give any, any spoilers i liked it i don't understand look not every movie has to be a oh my god you know what i mean some movies make you think and like what the hell and this is one of those type of movies in my opinion so i i enjoyed the movie again it's called <clears throat> the little things with denzel washington jared leto and i don't know who the name of the other detective girl he looked like a i'm not gonna tell i'm not gonna make fun of someone's looks because they can't help that but he looks he looked mysterious i guess we could say. <laughs> um Girl, besides that, the Wendy Williams biopic. Now, y'all, I posted on my community tab a couple of weeks ago. By now, it would have been about a week that I didn't finish it. I ended up finishing it, y'all, and I liked it. But I definitely, definitely liked the... Hold on, y'all. Christine's talking to me. Girl, Christine. Y'all, I forgot to tell you, give y'all an update on something. Because now that I saw Christine's text, I forgot to give y'all an update on something that's even more... Um, okay, that's cool. Since we have passed recreational marijuana, Miss Jackson visited a dispensary for the first time a couple of weeks ago. Now, y'all, I'm not here for smoking weed on your pastime to just get high and you ain't got nothing to do. I actually qualify for a medical marijuana card. And after speaking to someone at the dispensary, I'm going to go ahead and get my card because the taxes will be lower. And plus, I could get more of the of the flower or cannabis when I go. And so, yeah, I, I have a 
pre-existing condition where I qualify for it. And so I'm going to go ahead and get my medical marijuana card. But honey, I had my first trip. We're going to get back to the Wendy Williams. I had my first trip at the, at the dispensary. I've got me some stuff. Now, my good um, friend here, Christine, and my co-worker, she's been advising me on what on some other stuff I, should, I could get. I'm not going to get everyone's business out, but I really am... Want, I really am using this in place of, girl, what's my wine, wine glass? In place of consuming wine and alcohol, basically for anxiety, to chill me out. Um, every now and then, my legs do hurt, especially my bottom legs, um, and so to help with that. So I definitely, definitely am, am really excited about that, you guys, and the opportunities. Girl, my husband was like, well, we need to look into to see how we can get... I'm like, this is not a business deal. First of all, my husband does not partake. He does not smoke, even for recreational. He he absolutely sees the benefits medical um, wise. And he understands it. And I probably won't be smoking it a lot either, y'all. I think I, I bought a little pre-roll package. And I've had the thing for like two weeks. And my one, my one neighbor was like, did you finish them? I was like, no. I have like three of them. I have three of them left, girl. I'm not... Once a week, maybe twice a week. The most I will probably do it is twice a week. Okay, and I know people who do it multiple days. You know, they they need to take a hit of something multiple days. Whatever is your get up. I I don't. I'm not here to judge anybody. But for me, help me with my anxiety, which would be great. So anyway, y'all, that's a little bit of life update. So the Wendy Williams movie, the Wendy Williams biopic, and the documentary. Yes. Yes, Lifetime. Of course, it helps with Wendy Williams having a, you know, a say in her own story. Absolutely, it does. But look, no matter how you feel about Wendy Williams, and yes, we know she's petty. Yes, we know there's a lot of things that she has done in the past that may, you may could say, yeah, that's karma. But you have to also realize what people go through in their life ultimately affects who they are as an adult and i'm not excusing her behavior for some of the you know the mess she has pulled all i'm trying to say there's a reason for some of these things i honestly do feel like her being an overweight child and the comments that her parents made to her had a, a drastic effect on her self-esteem because one of the things that she did mention in the movie and in, in the documentary is that as soon as she got her coins together she got lipo and she got breast implants um she was on cocaine was she on cocaine y'all cocaine for a while so to maintain her weight and so you found out a lot about how kevin her husband um basically manipulated her in the situation and he was her manager for a while. And I didn't realize he was younger than her. Yeah, he was like four, five years younger than her. Um, but he was a thug. And he had a lot of street cred. And Wendy liked that. And she felt safe. And that was someone that she could connect with. Now, the reason why I said that you have to feel some type of, you know, me. You don't have to do anything because of her um, issues with infertility. And the fact that she, I, I had no idea. I knew that she had had miscarriages, but I had no idea that they had went that far. Meaning that she had to have them basically stillborn. She had to go through with the pregnancy and have the baby and the babies didn't. I mean, that is horrible to go through that with Kevin. And then she went on bed rest. She worked from home because she would have had a, a weak cervix Quando find out she had Graves the Graves disease issues with her thyroid, and she just set her butt down and worked and was able to carry a baby to full term. So that's where my sympathy come from. And also, honestly, I really do feel like her husband, her ex husband, put her through the ringer. Put her. I mean, again, I'm not excusing her behavior, but I couldn't imagine being married to someone. And having all of this loss to find out that he's been cheating on you this entire time. Not only that, but he had another baby. And you, yourself, you had so many issues, you know, conceiving and even, you know, holding on to a child. And he'd get another one, woman pregnant. 
Uh, it's just, it's, it's a lot, y'all. And so I do feel like the biopic could have been like a series, like four or five, you know, series. And I, 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 you know, and so I did see the documentary. I didn't see all of it, but I saw most of it. I saw enough. And so it really did pain me, y'all. And again, I don't even watch the Wendy Williams show. I probably have seen maybe one or two full episodes, but it really did hurt me to see her break down. I mean, they started off <laughs> the interview. Why don't you introduce yourself? It was already cut. You could just see the the emotion and everything boiling up. I mean, you can sense it too. You know, it was a lot. It was a bit much, y'all. And she just was crying. And um, you know, she was laying on her couch in her uh, what is her her penthouse, having a glass of champagne and wine. <clears throat> she had the limp she has lymphedema um and so looking at wendy and some of her her pictures it does make sense you know because her legs sometimes look a little bigger and so she said was in that she had to have those leg compressions on for like two hours a day she gets this type of treatment but just hearing her talk about kevin her ex-husband and you know this marriage and then the babies and all of the drama and i'm like oh my god you never know what people at the end of the day, Wendy Williams, no matter what you think about her, she is a human being. And she has gone through something. And this is her story. And she I, wouldn't be where she's at if people weren't watching her. So, yeah, y'all, I did enjoy the biopic of her girl. It's better than that salt and pepper one. But, yes, I did enjoy it. And there were a couple of things that were a shocker that I learned. I mean, I knew she had been on crack and all that. Um, I knew about the the um, interview, interview she had with Mariah Carey. The interview that she had with... Whitney Houston child sometimes when I want to hear a good reading I listen to either that or the Judge Mathis uh where he dragged her baby Judge Mathis and Wendy Williams so yeah y'all so that is it y'all this um video is going on long I gotta go fix me some tacos you know that's very productive and so that is it everyone thank you so much for watching take care bye